In this video, I would like to discuss the importance of switching to the GUI thread in JavaFX applications. Up to this point, we have not had any additional threads providing input to our user interface, so we have not had to worry about this issue. Today, I'm going to use a simple example of a thread providing a timestamp that we would like to display on a text field on our user interface. So I have skipped ahead here and have created the code necessary to execute our thread. If you're not familiar with threading, don't worry about this too much. Here we simply have a new thread that is going to get started when the program starts and it is going to enter this handle thread method that is going to create a new string with a timestamp every two seconds. And what we would like to do is display this on our text field in our user interface. And you might think to do that would be to set the two-way input to our date string. And this will work. As you see, the date time is actually getting updated just as you would expect. However, look what is happening down here below in my exception handle list. This is occurring because we did not first switch to the GUI thread before we set that string property. So let me show you how to avoid this situation. What you might not have noticed before I exited the application is that when that exception occurs, it actually freezes the user interface and makes it no longer usable. So this is a very, very bad situation that you really do not want to occur. But fortunately, it's very easy to deal with. What we need to do to switch to the GUI thread is call platform.runLater. And we will wrap that in a Lambda expression. And all you have to do is make sure to update any user input uh, or user interface values inside of this platform run later uh, code block here. And now when you run this, everything will be um, just fine. And what's interesting about this type of error situation is that it's very unpredictable as to when it might occur. Uh, we were fortunate in the previous example that it occurred uh, fairly quickly upon startup, but, but these situations uh, are very unpredictable and random as to when the exceptions might occur, and this can be very difficult to track down. So if you see any uh, errors occurring that indicate FX, null pointer exceptions, or array out of bounds exceptions, the first place to look is always to make sure that your um, appropriately switching to the GUI thread anytime you are updating user interface um, values or data from someplace other than uh, the GUI thread. And that's all I want to go over today. I hope you'll find this uh, video series on JavaFX helpful, and thank you for watching.